Okay, so it's Sunday afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I uh, wasn't going to do a second video this week, but yesterday, while I was away, uh, some really special items have come. And I was with the earlier video this week. Um, these have come from a variety of different sources, some from the auction houses, some via Twitter, and uh, one via eBay as well. So let's crack on and have a look and see what we've got in here. We've got some nice bits and pieces again, I'm sure we have. Great stuff. Now this first one, we've got some vintage 80s Arsenal Adidas shorts and socks. I think these are from about 89 if I remember rightly. And the matching socks as well. Now socks and shorts, it's not everyone's cup of tea, especially socks, they're used as well. Um, but for the person who wants the complete kit, that's a great uh, thing to have. Right, next one. That's one of the biggest teams on the on the south coast. Plymouth Argyle, a modernish one, 2002, uh, made by Araya. A few bottles on the front of that one, so the condition's not brilliant. However, the real trash is coming in these. Um, so this came via a, an auction house. Sometimes it can be productive. What you have to be mindful of is what the extra fees, commission charges, and shipping will be. So they're not always the cheapest. But what you can sometimes get is the quality stuff. Now I'm hoping that this is going to be a a nice surprise for Swansea fans and Liverpool fans and indeed it is. First of all, an 80s Admiral Swansea home shirt. Absolutely beautiful. With a shadow stripe design in it as well, embroidered Swansea badge, adult size, the Admiral taping on the sleeve. Superb. And then another one of my favourite companies from the 90s, the Match Winner one. This has got the heavy plastic action sponsors logo on it. And again, you can see this shirt's barely been worn. Look at the condition of that badge, it's not faded. And these plastic badges, they wear quite quickly as well once they've been washed a few times. I was a Liverpool fan, these are my two favourites. And this is one I always wanted when I was growing up. The 1981 European Cup final embroidered shirt. Produced it again in very low numbers at the time for you to wear for the final. And this one's an adult medium size, 38 to 40 inches. Super duper rare shirt, as is this one. The Itachi sponsored home shirt. I look for the first big team to have a sponsor's logo on it in the form of Hitachi. Again, another adult size. Incredibly rare to find in these sizes. Condition excellent as well. Bit of wear to the Hitachi logo. Again, one of the troubles uh, when the shirts get washed too often. Now finally, if I'm right, now this is something that came to me via Twitter. And one of my favourite things is buying shirts from uh, sides in some of the lower leagues. They, they often will have some of the more attractive shirts. Right, really well packaged. And this is going to be a real treat for Scum Talk fans. What we have are the Alan Ward uh, away shirts from the mid 90s. A bit garish perhaps, but really nice designs. And what about that one? One of my favourite ones. The Pleasure Island one. 
Nice as well that one because it's got the Football League patches on the sleeves. And finally the home one. Beautiful shirts. Super designs. Really difficult to get hold of in these adult sizes. And that's it for today. Thanks very much everyone. I'll catch you with you all soon.